It's the end of the day with Ray. Hello, my friends. Well, imagine the Document Imaging Channel, those friends of mine that sell supply and service print equipment, is a neighborhood with sidewalks. And walking down the sidewalk is a mother with a baby in the baby carriage. And that baby's the ugliest baby in the world. What would happen on that sidewalk in the Document Imaging Channel? Well, let's jump on the Sharp Interactive board. And I'm going to share my thoughts. There it is, folks, the ugliest baby in the world. Sitting there in the carriage, the mother's walking down the sidewalks of the Document Imaging Channel. And there's really basically three things that are going to happen. Three things. The person's just going to outright lie to the mother and tell the mother how beautiful the baby is. Oh, what a beautiful baby. You know, the baby looks up at that person and says, what are you, just an old fool? I mean, can't you see I'm ugly? Even the mother's thinking, why is this person lying to me? I'm so sick of people lying to me about my baby's beauty when my baby's really a monster. I wish someone could help me instead of lie to me. That's what the mother's probably thinking. The next thing is they avoid the reality altogether. Mother's walking down the sidewalk of the Document Imaging Channel and the <laughs> that old copier rep out there waters lawn sees the, sees the baby. What do they do? They just go like this. How you doing? Looking away. I see you're out with the baby. Just avoiding the reality of the ugly baby altogether. And then you got the tough truth. Mother's walking that baby down the sidewalk of the Document Imaging Channel. Person out there fixing their car sees the mother, walks up to the mother and says, yeah, you know, I've seen you a few times. I really want to try to help you and your baby. I know this organization that helps mothers and babies in your situations. I have a friend of mine that's a plastic surgeon. You see, that person didn't avoid the reality that person didn't need to lie to the mother. That person told the mother the truth with some compassion who tries to help the mother and the baby. Document Imaging Channel, those friends of mine that sell supply and service print equipment, stop lying to each other. It's getting to a point of absurdity. Some of the videos I see out there where people are just absolutely lying to the marketplace. There's no other way to describe it. Or here's one for you. You have a team member that puts out a, a video because they're going to tell the world that this print company is now selling IT services and cybersecurity services. And anybody that sells IT services or cybersecurity services realizes that video is insane. That video is going to help the competitors when they're competing against this company because they're probably going to play that video to that prospect and say, this is really who you want? to manage your IT infrastructure and your cybersecurity. And then in the comments of that video, you'll see where the management team of the same company is just congratulating this person. What a fantastic video. Not realizing that they're also endorsing something that your competition is going to probably use against you. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a place to coach people and cheer people on to get them to improve. But when they're in the game, and they're in the game to win, you don't cheer on all the mistakes they made. You get them on the sidelines. You try to beat some sense into them, right? Stop lying to each other. You're not going to improve if you lie to each other. You're not going to improve if you avoid the reality. You're only going to improve if you tell the tough truth. You can have compassion in your tough truth. Sometimes you don't need to have compassion, depending on the situation. But the bottom line, folks, is this. We've got a lot of people out there that are just obsessed with the lying part. And false accolades do not inspire improvement. They actually endorse status quo. Insecurity or lack of knowledge causes deflection from reality. Sometimes you might not have the business acumen to go where the market's going. Then you need help. You got to admit to that. Get some help. But don't try to live in a, in a false reality. That's not going to help you. Those who lie and deflect will fight the truth. Will fight the truth of exposing ineptness. They don't want to expose their ineptness. So they'll fight the truth. They'll think the truth is negative. Our industry has some people with a unrealistic optimism, I call it. Completely unrealistic optimism. There's nothing optimistic about an industry that's about ready to just fall off a cliff. 
There's nothing optimistic about that. The optimism comes from understanding all the negative impacts. You got to understand all these negative impacts. And then your optimism is to create a better way. But when you start to learn about these negative impacts, when you hear about these negative impacts, if you believe that's just negativity, well, then you're living in a false, unrealistic optimism, which a lot of times will destroy the status quo. Well, all the time, that'll destroy the status quo. Just some things to think about, my friends, because every once in a while, we're going to run into that ugly baby, and we need to be able to tell them the truth. Because everybody watching me knows this. Status quo is the killer of all that will be invented. Don't get stuck in status quo, and I'll see you all tomorrow.